Now we are at Lumle. From here we'll be going to Nayapul. And from there we'll be going to Tikhe Dunga via Birethati. And from Nayapul we'll be taking an off-road vehicle uh, for 45 minutes. And then from there 45 minutes uh, walk will be pretty easy. This was the hotel that we stayed. Now we're starting the second day of our trek. Today we'll be reaching Ghorepani. It will take around six to seven hours. Let's see how fast we can walk. It's been an hour that we have been climbing and it's 15 more minutes to climb this uphill. And then afterwards, there will, there will be pretty easy trail. Let's hope it's not as fatiguing as this one. So you can see a very beautiful view from here. This is a children's library. Just a couple of minutes off the trail. Looks good. And here is a school. See the school. The names Sri Ulleri Lower Secondary School, Thak Ulleri. And this is the playground, volleyball, and basketball court. It's a good setup for a school, lower secondary school. You can see the hills at the background. Looks absolutely stunning. Finally, we have crossed the most difficult part of this trekking, and uh, they say that it's pretty easy. Let's see how easy will it be. And you can see the swing here. It's a very beautiful scene from here. It's been around two and a half hours that we've been climbing and probably four more hours to walk you can see the clouds floating and people walking finally here come our companions seven of them uh, here are four and two are there a uh, third one comes out so far the best waterfall we have seen and you can get clear water over here And the previous crown for the best waterfall goes to this. You can hear the intensity of this waterfall so you can guess how strong the current might be. How the water feels, can you tell me? It's very cold! I don't know. You can actually see, you can see that this part is a bit deeper. This part is a bit shallower and this, this is really shallow, you can walk here. This leads to this waterfall.
So finally we have reached Ghorepani. And from here our hotel is around 10 minutes uphill. If you can see that building, it's right of that. Finally we have reached the hotel we will be staying today. This is a Hungry Eye Hotel. This is at Ghorepani. And here is the board. Hungry Eye Guest House. Let's stay in here. It's all foggy today, so we can't see anything. Otherwise, we could be seeing some mountains. Let's see. There are lots of hotels here. And here you can see the playground. Basketball court. It's pretty big. And volleyball court as well. And probably that's a school. Battle of the sexes. Competition between males and females over here. Volleyball competition. You can see the guy serving. And the point goes to the boys. At the background you can see some guys playing foot and basketball. We've reached the top of the Punel. We were supposed to see all the ranges of the mountain, but looks like it's a very bad day for us. This we can see can only the cloud covering. Oh dear. Instead of the original mountains, I can show you only the, the panoramic view showing all the mountain ranges. You can see Matsapur Street at the rightmost. We should be uh, probably this place. This one should be Annapurna South, I believe. A few glimpses of Annapurna South. This is. It's getting slightly clearer. And the main mountain should have been here, Annapurna South. But you can see a plane flying just underneath the Annapurna South. The peak is unfolding. You can see the peak. Let's hope we can see more clear view. Getting much, much better. Didn't expect it to be this clear. <coughs> the moment we are waiting for. It could have been much, much better, but at least it's better. Major peaks would be this Thalagiri. Nilgiri and here would have been Annapurna South. <laughs>